Design a crossover. The Jaguar is something completely new to us. But the thing is, if you hold on to the very value of Jaguar, you will come up with the right answer. It had to look and feel like a Jaguar, which by nature uses the idea of line and length and movement in its very form. And the other real challenge was the word excitement. How do you make something which is fundamentally very practical also very exciting? You have to really work hard to make sure you maximise every opportunity of space or line or form to create that excitement. The design feature I really love on this car, like most Jaguars, is the overall silhouette and the proportions. This car has visual movement in it. You can see it in the profile. It's got a proper length of bonnet. It's got this wonderful swooping cabin and a fascinating tail silhouette. Got the two basic lines that run through the waistline that sweeps into the door, disappears and sweeps over the rear wing as it does on the F-Type as well. Then it drops off onto quite a low tail relative to the waistline. And that proportion of the car I find very exciting. In Jaguar's history we always created cars with a sense of style. And style in many ways can compromise the practicality and the space of the car because form takes up space. And this car what we've done is managed to combine the element of space and style together. The essential part of this car when you get into it is it must feel like a driver's car and when you sit in it you do feel like you're in some sort of sports car and to that end we have this wonderful line again a Riva hoop line that runs around the front of the car and it really encompasses the whole of the interior it gives you a complete visual cabin and there's a beautiful line which I really like on the door I call it the chicane line if you look at the trim leather line that comes up through the door it just gives it a sense of 